Hey you guys! <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. This is day three of using the Maybelline Soda Pop Palette. I'm gonna admit, today is not gonna be a heavy makeup day. And it's because it's a snow day and I'm at home, cozied up. Gonna be reading on the couch, sipping um, a London Fog. London Fogs are amazing. If you do not know what a London Fog is, you are seriously missing out. It's an Earl Grey tea with steamed milk and a little bit of vanilla. Or at least that's how I make it. And it's so good. Anyway, um, I'm going to curl up on the couch reading um, my latest TBR. So if you're interested in TBRs, go check out my main, like, vloggy personal weird channel I don't know it's some compilation of weird stuff that's about me that's not makeup or like food or uh I don't know it's just the one about me anyway if you're interested in my books and booktube and that sort of stuff then check the link in the box below because that's gonna be there anyway as I was saying today is snowpocalypse or snowmageddon or what other fun little term of endearment we can come up with for snow in the Pacific Northwest. Seattleites can't drive in the snow, so if there's like an inch of snow, um, everybody freaks out and there's snow days. However, I have about seven inches and it's not going anywhere, so I have a good reason to stay home uh, and I did not want to make the commute to work today. So hence the naked face and hence the reason for not wanting to pile on the makeup. However, I do want to, um, I'm sitting here in front of my desk thinking I want to play with the makeups. So I'm going to and I'm going and in. I am going to use this lovely palette today. So because I'm at home I can practically do anything with my makeup. And I think I'm just going to go, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to play with this and see what I can come up with. Um, I'm not wearing any primer, so primers are always a good thing. I did do my brows because, hello, this girl's got no brows. Actually, I take that back. I do have brows. They're just kind of sparse. I really am considering getting uh, nano needling or microblading done. Um, I've been hesitant to do it because I change my hair color so often. And with blonde hair, it was easier to not have to fill in my brows all the time. But I'm not going to be blonde anymore. As you can tell, I am not blonde. I have red hair, but I'm going to be growing out my natural hair color going forward. So no more dying of the hair. So um, depending on how washed out I look, it's where I'm kind of hesitant because my natural hair color is almost black. Bet you didn't know that. All right, Tay, so what colors do I want to do today? I don't know, I'm talking like this. Okay, I'm going to do chilling, this long skinny one here, um, in the crease, because why not? Here, i got to magnify myself, because I am blind as a bit, bit, bit. That's a nice creamy color. I like that this palette just blends out so nicely. It's fairly effortless. I'm going to blend a little bit on my lids, too, because I can. Okay, so... I need to do something funky, don't I? Why not use the blue raspberry today? Is this full shimmer? Mm, it's a little brownish. Tell you what. Let's take some Cola Float, this warm brown here. Pop it into this outer crease and blend it in. Outer corner. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. Hold, please. Ooh, that actually looks nice. I only did two swipes and it's like perfect. Nice. I love effortless makeup. And I love that I only need to tap into the palette like twice to get pigment and that's it. Alright, so it's warm. But I'm going to play with that blue because that blue is intriguing to me. So how do I want to do this? I have a flat brush. I get nervous with dark blues, especially when their base is not a blue. It's grayish, brownish, whatever this is. Blue raspberry. Perhaps I should swap this, swatch, swatch. Stop looking at me, Swan. Swatch this, but I'm going to just go with it. Because it's a play, ooh, that is pretty, okay. And there's a lot of fallout. Hmm. But it's bien. Porque puedo blend. I don't know the word for blend in Spanish. Este color. Okay, that's the extent of my Spanish. I took Spanish in high school, did well with it, 
and then didn't pursue it after that. Okay, so the gray, or it turned gray on my lids. Okay, I'm going to take the root beer, the dark brown, and pop this here just to give there, just to give a little bit more transition into the, from the blue into that dark, or the brown. I can't talk. There's a lot of fallout. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's zoom in. That's as far as I can zoom in. Sorry, poops. Poops. Sorry, peeps. Not necessarily digging this blue shadow as is. So I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus spray. Boop. Take my brush and then apply this wet instead. It's going to be really strong. I can tell you that. I know I'm speaking off this. But that is so much better because now you can see more of the blue. better and it's helping with that fallout it's interesting because I do not equate this with being blue raspberry I feel like this is more of like a I don't know like almost weird blueberry but yeah it works it's definitely not a daytime look, but <laughs> who's going anywhere? I'm not, so who cares, right? Right? Me making that face just reminded me of Puxatani Phil. Apparently, he did not see a shadow. Could have fooled me looking outside with all this gorgeous snow. Well, Puxatani Phil, you suck. Alright, so... I noticed that this kind of went a little patchy and I ended up just blending and blending and blending as much as I could but this is the end result of that and as you can tell I have fallout here. I'll fix that up. Um, finally, I think this needs a little zzz on the lids. Let's do tonic. This upper one here, it's very pretty. I take a little, this has no mirror, I don't know what I'm doing that for. Take a little bit of this on my finger and just pop it into the center just for a little bit of lightness there to the eye. You see what it does? It just kind of brightens it without taking away too much of that blue. Pat it on. And then use my ring finger to just blend it out a little bit. And then I'll take a small flat brush and do the same into that inner tear duct with the same color. Alright, that's that. The completed look. I applied mascara and cleaned up my face a little bit so it looks a little bit more, you know, poised. You can throw on some lip gloss and this is a, an obvious evening wear look. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for day four. Mwah. Bye!